Welcome to another bite-sized training tape for football officials. And today we're looking at two aspects of an offside call. So we'll notice that the ball right now is positioned nose on the line. And, and that, that really is what dictates the, the neutral zone and each team's uh, line of scrimmage. But watch what happens when the center uh, grabs the ball. He moves the ball forward. So if anybody on the defensive line uh, lines up over the ball, that would, would actually not be considered offside because the center moved the ball. So um, I would still consider this as the neutral zone. And uh, I wouldn't penalize the snapper for doing that, but I also wouldn't penalize Team B, the defensive line, for all of a sudden being in, uh, being over the ball just because the center moved the ball. So that's, a, that's just a little detail to be be aware of. And there we've, we have a, uh, a defensive move uh, which turns into a live ball defensive offside. Uh, the defender moves into the neutral zone and he's in there when the ball is snapped. Nobody from the offensive side moved before the ball was snapped and we didn't have any uh, contact by the defensive player to any of the offensive players. He's not unabated to the quarterback. So this is correctly ruled by this crew as a live ball defensive offside. Basically the free play that, that the defense wanted to get or the offense wanted to get out of it. So well done by this crew. And that was it for this edition of the Bite Size Training Tape. So as always, thank you for watching.